Elite Performance Chiropractic. Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Miller with Elite Performance Chiropractic in McKinney, Texas. We're here today at CK Sports uh, running triathlon store and I'm here with Sherry. Um, she comes in today, she's having some hip pain. A hip pain uh, related to a walking slash running injury. Now we get these a lot in the office. Today I'm going to do a little free assessment with Sherry and go over some things, uh, what she can do at home to fix this and how we can prevent this running injury for her hip. Okay? Alright. Go ahead, lay on your stomach for me. Alright, Sherry. First thing that we're going to look at is your left hip out in this direction that's bothering you. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to bring your legs up. Uh, as we talked about not too long ago, when I push your legs down, I'm feeling a lot more resistance on this left side. Okay? Now that's going to be a couple things. It's going to be your SI joint in here, okay, and it's jammed right now, okay? okay? And what that's doing is it's causing some compensation with the muscles. It's a muscle imbalance, all right? Um, go ahead and lay on your side. Face me this way. So muscles are the primary stabilizers of the joint. So if you're having some muscle fatigue or muscle pain, if the joint's out of alignment, it's going to cause some muscle problems as well. For you right now, you're having a lot of muscle pain, but it's because the joint's jammed back in here. Okay. okay, now you sit at your job eight hours a day like we talked about. So all you people out there that sit, which is pretty much everybody, <laughs> it's very hard to get up and do exercise and activity. So you're shortening these muscles here all day long sitting down. And now you're trying to get up and exercise, whether it be running or walking long distances. Okay, um, so you're having a lot of tightness with that quad here. Okay. So bend this leg. <clears throat> all right, relax it. We're going to bring it back. How's that feel? It hurts, right? Yeah. So that inflexibility we were talking about, that yeah. quad, when I do that test with you when you're laying down, that's, that's part of it. So we've got to start doing some trigger point work on the quads. Yeah. You can use the grid uh, at home. You know, things like this. You have any, a foam roller or the grid. Okay? You get something like this, and I'll teach you how to foam roll, roll this out for the quad. Do some stretching with that as well. Okay? Um, it just relaxes up right here. Okay, straighten this leg out. Okay, hold that. Don't let me push down. Push up. <laughs> yeah, that's that's difficult, right? Yeah. Strict with medius. That's okay. Relax it. <clears throat> so, this is called active release techniques. It's just soft tissue treatment where we, we shorten the muscle and then we're going to stretch it and lengthen it through as I'm going to dig into it. It's going to help release some tension and adhesions that can develop in the muscle. Okay. When you get a joint that's jammed or not working properly, puts abnormal stress and extra stress on the muscle. The muscle is not supposed to have that. So what happens, it develops some scar tissue adhesions in the muscle and that's what's causing some of this. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not that bad. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> so, work there. Straighten this. Bring it all the way down in front. Stretch this out, good. Okay, and once again, if you don't have someone like me around where you are to do this to you, you can use the foam roller, the trigger point, just kind of roll on the grid with this. Go on your back for me. And bend this knee up, that here, cross it here, reach down here, grab this leg, pull it up, both hands, pull this up. Yep, this is a good stretch that you need to start doing at home. Piriformis syndrome, it's, it's almost a piriformis muscle as well, so that's another big word that you really want to stretch this area out a lot with. Okay, so that's one you want to work on at home. Also, bring this leg up, arms out to your side, bring it all the way over. Just so it's like, try to keep those shoulders on the table. Yeah, And just let this rest down just like that. Okay, bend both knees for me. Down. Now go ahead and bridge up. Keep your keep your temple stay down on the ground. Yeah. Bridge just your hips up. Keep your tummy in oh. nice and straight. Touch me. Go back down. Touch and go. Come back up again. Do that a few times for me. Okay. All right. One that was easy one. compared to that stuff. So um, this is pretty typical. I get with a lot of my hip uh, hip pain, hip injury runners slash walkers. Um, so the joints jam, the muscles been affected more so with it. So you want to do a lot of foam rolling, trigger point therapy work at home. Um, stretch it. 
I would take whatever your training is right now, cut it in half, back off. Um, for you, probably you can start using some heat to loosen up those muscles a little bit. Like a heat pad? Yeah, a heat pad. And then um, we'll talk about the rest. But um, <clears throat> that's our recap for today. Um, once again, Dr. Miller with Elite Performance Chiropractic in McKinney. If you have any hip running injuries, give us a call or look us up on, on the website. Thank you.